like day 21 hair, so don't. gonna start off by pre-pooing which means I'm just gonna oil my scalp before I shampoo um, my hair is really really dry so if I don't pre-poo before I shampoo my hair is not gonna turn the way that I want so I have my hair sectioned off and I'm actually going to be using this hair growth oil and this hair oil is inspired by Curly Proverbs hair oil. You guys can go check that out because I didn't make this oil. But yeah, so I just get that oil and I put it in one of these little applicator bottles and I put this all over my scalp in all four sections. it out. Now I'm going to be taking my Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shampoo from Shea Moisture and washing my hair. I'm going to be taking the um, Raw Shea Butter Deep Treatment Mask by Shea Moisture. I'm putting this all over my hair. Again, I'm going to section my hair. And now taking the back sections. This deep conditioner is super duper thick. I love it. So yeah, I'm just going to continue putting this on all the sections of my hair. On the side so I can put it up of course you can just put this up in like a bun or something um, and leave it like that especially if you're going to sleep like I am but I like to be extra so I'm going to put it in twist You don't need this. Use a grocery bag. And I'm gonna go to sleep. 
and then I'll wake up in the morning and continue the routine. Hey guys, so it is the morning time and my hair has been deep conditioning all night. So I'm just going to be taking out the twists that I have them in and kind of finger detangling them and rinsing out all the excess deep conditioner that I have in my hair. Next up, I'll be taking my Complete Conditioning Co-Wash by Cantu. And I'm going to be applying this all over my hair and my scalp, just like a shampoo. Then, without rinsing that out, I'm going to be taking my Aussie Moist Conditioner and taking a generous amount of that and putting that all over my hair. I need my hair to be soaking wet um, when I apply product. Um, I've noticed that when I use a t-shirt or a towel or anything, it creates frizz. So um, I just leave it soaking wet and it kind of drips all the excess. So while my hair is still wet, I'm going to be using the Quenching Coconut Curls Conditioner on the ends of my hair, just on the ends of my hair. Um, I usually use this on all of my hair, but that's for like a normal wash and go that you want to last like four days. Uh, I want my hair to look like day two hair tonight, so I'm actually going to be using this instead, which is the keratin oil conditioner. And yeah, I have lots and lots of these. These are my go-tos. Get some. So I take a little bit of this. I'm just putting that on the end. Not on the whole thing. And now taking the keratin oil conditioner. I'm gonna be applying this all over my hair, being sure to get close to my roots because my roots tend to get really, really frizzy. I'm just gonna be finger detangling and combing through my hair so that all my curls get an even amount of product. After I do this, I'm gonna clump my curls together so that they can form properly. And to make sure that my curls don't form flat on my head, I'm kind of going to shake out the front of my hair. And now I'm going to use a cotton t-shirt to absorb any excess product and scrunch my hair to help my curls form. So I'm going to let this air dry. I don't want to diffuse either because that's frizz that we don't need. But we're going to get frizz anyway, so we're not going to contribute to the frizz, okay? Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna air dry. This won't take me long to air dry. I will chill for an hour and then I'll come back and show you guys. And then I'll show you guys my next steps in the middle of my hair drying. And then we'll get some hair. Okay, so my hair is 50% dry. The ends are completely dry. So I'm going to put some coconut oil in my hair. Not a lot, but I don't know. But yeah, just a little bit on my hands. All over my hands. And I'm kind of scrunching in my hair. Now that I've oiled the ends of my hair, I'm going to let it finish drying. And then I'll come back and show you guys the rest of my routine.
Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and you subscribe. And please make sure you comment and let me know what other type of videos you guys want to see. And I'll see you guys in the next one.